Hello, welcome to the Tenorshare channel. Today I'm going to show you how to downgrade your device from iOS 14 beta back to iOS 13 without losing any data. With this being said, let's jump in. If you haven't backed up your device, it's not late to do it now. We don't want to lose any of our photos, apps, and other files. You might have learned that iOS 14 backup doesn't work on iOS 13 devices. Fret not, I'll show you how to change the backup version later, so it can still work on your device when you get back to iOS 13. So launch iTunes, and then connect your phone to the computer. Now we click on the device icon, navigate to the backups field. Make sure the backup location is this computer instead of iCloud. Then hit backup now. Ok, now what we are going to do, is change the backup version from iOS 14 to iOS 13. First, let's press Win and R key at the same time. Then type in Updata, and hit OK. Now let's go to Apple Computer, Mobile Sync, then Backup. Open the backup we just created. Scroll all the way down, and find the info.plist file, open it. Now let's search for product. Not too far down we'll find the product version, and below it we can see iOS 14, what we are going to do is change it to iOS 13. Once done, close the file and make sure to save the change. Ok, now let's start the downgrade. First, we start Ryboot, it'll recognize the device right away. Now let's go to Repair Operating System field. Then we click on the Deep Repair link. And then we hit Fix Now. In this step it'll match the latest iOS 13 firmware for the device, so we don't have to look for it by ourselves, and end up getting one that isn't compatible with the device. Now I'm going to click the Download button to get this firmware on the computer. OK. Let's go ahead and hit repair now. You can see the downgrade process is reflected on the device. Now the progress bar has appeared it's installing the iOS 13 firmware on the device. All we need to do is keep the phone connected, and wait patiently for it to complete. Well done, now wait for the device to finish the boot up. Now we see the hello screen, let's go ahead and set up the device. Ok, now let's go to Settings, General, About. You can see we are on iOS 13 now. Another thing we noticed is all the data has been erased from the phone. Let's get it back. So we launch iTunes again, and plug the phone back into the computer. Click the device icon. It says set up as new iPhone or restore from this backup. We recognize this is the backup we created earlier today, so let's go ahead and hit continue. How long it takes depends on how big the backup is. Okay. Now it says the settings for your iPhone has been restored, we just keep the phone connected and wait for it to finish the boot up. 
now we see the hello screen once again. Let's go ahead and set it up. Well done, you can see all the data has been restored back to the device. Including photos, apps, and other files. It even restored the new iOS 14 wallpaper to your device, that's not bad. To download, check out the link in the description below. For more videos like this, subscribe to the Tenorshare channel to keep watching now. Tenorshare, better software, better life.